You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. We want to talk about whether or not Sonny Corinthos is going to kill Gladys Corbin for what she's doing to Sasha Gilmore right now. We have looked back at the spoilers, looked back at Sonny's history, and we really thought about this. And we think that Gladys might literally be gambling with her life right now. We're going to dig into this in just a second. But if you haven't, please click subscribe so you don't miss any of our General Hospital spoilers, casting news, updates, and more. All right, let's dig in. So there are all these strikes building up against Gladys Corbin right now with Sunny. First, you remember she showed up at the the restaurant at Fizzolo's and asked Sunny to invest in deception, but she wanted him to make a cash investment, you know, probably going to tell him, oh, launder your money because she needed it to pay back money that she lost at Selena Wu's card table. And he's going to realize that at some point, that that's why she was there asking for an investment in cash. And that's going to come back to bite her. And then she just showed up at his penthouse and was pressing him to get Sasha to drop the conservatorship stuff. And he said, drop it. And she kept on and kept on. And he finally was like, look, drop it. And she finally did. And let's face it, Gladys is a money grubber and Sonny has always despised that about her for years. Remember when they first came to Port Charles, when she and first and Brando first came, that's all she did. She had her hand out and she would use Sonny's name. She would use Carly's name at the Metro Court to try and get free stuff. And she's just always been a freeloading money grubber. Just she's, she's garbage, right? I mean, I, there, I do think she loves Sasha, but I don't think it, there's anything healthy about it. I just don't see literally any redeeming values about Gladys Corbin. Maybe you guys do. If you do leave me a comment but otherwise I just think she's awful and if Sonny takes out the trash then I think poor Charles will be the better for it so when he finds out that Gladys is stealing from Sasha that right there is enough to trigger Sonny to kill Gladys I believe that but the drugging thing that she's also doing now is just next level it's crazy Dr. Montague told Sasha that he recommended this medication. It's a benzodiazepine. The street name is benzos. They are basically like anti-anxiety medications. And in fact, you can take them on top of an SSRI antidepressant and they act as additional therapy. So if he really did give her benzos on top of her regular antidepressant medicine, that that would be okay. That's something that a psychiatrist might give to someone with Sasha's level of anxiety. But he might have given her a, you know, a bottle or something. I don't remember if he handed her a bottle or the prescription, but gave her actually something else. Something that could trigger a psychotic episode or something that could trigger a psychotic episode and then also pop her positive on a drug test since she had that pill addiction. So it could be the kind of thing to where they could then say, oh, you're taking drugs again. And, you know, so clearly they are setting her up for a big fall. And before he gave him to her, he had told, Dr. Montague had told Gladys, look, this is the last chance to back out of this. And Gladys is like, no, let, let's let's do it. And then we have a spoiler next week that says Sasha surprises Maxie. And I think it's going to be her having some sort of psychotic fit or seeming high or something to trigger other people to say, oh no, Sasha's back on pills or she, she can't handle this so they can, then other people will push back on her not ending the conservatorship and Gladys won't be in the position of having to do that. And the bottom line is Gladys is going to keep doing doing this because she's a gambling addict and she can't stop and she could even increase the meds. She could really hurt Sasha. And I mean, this is absolutely diabolical and evil, but totally plausible because addicts will do anything, say anything and hurt anyone to get their next fix. And even though she's not addicted to drugs or alcohol, she's addicted to gambling. And it's the, it's the same thing as that same addiction center in your brain that drives you to just do horrible things to get that fix. 
So we've got five reasons that we think that Sonny could take out a hit on Gladys over this if he doesn't just pull the trigger himself. The first thing is Sonny has taken out hits on people before. He's killed people himself. He's had Jason kill people. I'm sure, you know, he's got other people working for him that he can send out. Sean Butler used to kill for him. Sonny's got guys that that kill people. So he doesn't, if somebody is a waste of space and he thinks they should not be drawing air anymore, he takes care of business. That's just what he does. And so Gladys would do well to remember that. Another reason is that Sonny sees Sasha as family a lot more than he sees Gladys as family. Even though Gladys and Brando were his blood relatives and Sasha is not, he likes Sasha a heck of a lot more than he likes Gladys. He really did like Brando. He had a lot of respect for Brando and a lot of love for Brando. But Gladys, Sonny's never liked that woman and he still doesn't. And I think he's only passing polite to her for Sasha's sake. The third reason is that when Sonny finds out that Gladys has been stealing from Sasha all this time and he didn't know it, Sonny is going to feel really, really guilty about that. Like he should have known. He should have recognized the signs of her addiction. Selena should have told him. Somebody else should have, you know, he's going to have a lot of blame for himself and for other people and he's going to be very upset and him feeling guilty might trigger him to retaliate. The fourth thing is that Sonny will feel like he owes retribution to Brando's memory because Brando would have wanted Sonny to watch out for Sasha and Sonny failed. And so to own, own, you know, repay Brando's memory, he might have to kill her. All right, before we talk about the fifth and final reason that we think Sonny could and perhaps should take care of Gladys Corbin, if you haven't, please click subscribe so you don't miss any of our GH updates or spoilers and if you enjoyed this please click a like we love it when you do that and share your comments below all right so the fifth and final reason is that you know Sasha already had a heart attack remember which was very scary because of how young she is and because it was the pills and the coke and whatnot and so Gladys and this sketchy Dr. Montague drugging her could literally have killed Sasha and it might put her life on the line. And, you know, why Why feel sorry for Gladys? If Sunny takes her out like the garbage that she is, oh, well, bye. <laughs> you know, let us know what you think in the comments below. Does Gladys Corbin need to die? Should Sunny take care of this? Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.